Hey there everyone, here today with a short and sweet tutorial for you. Um, I guess I'll call this a tutorial about maintenance, character maintenance and item, and item maintenance. One of the things in Dragon Realms that you have to look forward to, I guess I'll say, is that <clears throat> your person and your items will degrade over time in a way. Um, for your person, if you have the ability to grow facial hair, and uh, you're a male that can grow facial hair, uh, your facial hair will continue to grow until it gets to absurd lengths, and there are actually equations in the game that measure just how much your facial hair encumbrance or encumbers your overall form. Um, and from what I understand, these equations just uh, make lines of code implode upon one another and are very, very absurdly complex. So one of the things that you might want to do is be able to take care of your facial hair whenever you can. And we can look at ourselves here and we can see that as of right now I do have a short thick mustache and a short shaggy beard. And I'm actually kind of curious, uh, right now I'm sitting with a light burden. I'm actually curious if we can actually get that burden to go away by shaving. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Just make sure that you have a razor, which you can get at any, pretty much any general store. Um, if you need to, you can type in razor in Atlantopedia and you can find out which stores sell this particular product. Um, but what we're looking for here is remove my mustache. And we'll see now that I will be without a mustache and then remove my beard. So now that we, uh, now that I am clean shaven once more and silky smooth, I'm curious if the burden went down. And there you see, the encumbrance went from light to none. <laughs> so keep, keep your face clean shaven and uh, good times. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now, the other thing that you will have to make sure that you do as time goes on is to uh, keep up your weapons and armor and bring those to repair shops. So I'm standing in a repair shop right now, and certain repairmen repair uh, leather and metal. Some do just metal, and some do just leather. Um, this one here just does metal. So let's just make sure that we have our... Um, the gloves that we'll need, because I know I do have some chain gloves. Uh, let's see here, we'll go to inventory armor. We'll go ahead and take a look in the backpack. Uh, ring gloves. So we'll go ahead and grab those real quick. And uh, basically, anything at all that you are wearing or holding they will repair. So if I take out, I don't, I'm not sure if it's actually damaged or not, but if I take out my cutlass here and it's damaged, he'll go ahead and repair it. If we do, ask Dag about repair all. Um, and it looks like, there we go. I had uh, something in my hand there, one of my, my gloves in my hands. So let's try this one more time. Okay, so it cost 100 lirams and two uh, Roisian to repair the gloves, the stick, uh, the plate, and the greaves. Okay, so my cutlass is actually not at all messed up, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and repair that for right now and get that going. So while this is being repaired, and we can go ahead and, and stow away our ticket, uh, the other thing, and this is kind of redundant for me, but <clears throat> I'll, I'll still show you guys how it works is taking care of your wounds. Now obviously as an empath myself, um, it's appropriate for me to say that you should of course seek out your neighborhood friendly empaths and get your wounds healed that way. But if you don't want to wait, there are um, NPC empaths that you can go toward and we'll find out where this one is. I'm in Thurnborough right now. And we're over here by the smithy. So it looks like we're going to have to go to the west a little bit into a cottage. So let's go ahead and head there real quick. And I will see you guys. All right, so we're over here at the um, 
town empath here, Srella. Uh, you can read the plaque, and sometimes it'll say something like, you know, if you lay down or something like that, they'll start to heal you. And that's generally what you have to do. So if you go to one of these NPC empaths, just lay down, and usually that's enough. Sometimes you have to put your name on a, a form or something like that, or you have to tap a registrar. Uh, but here you don't. So you can lie down and they will automatically begin healing you, of course, for a fee. Um, and you'll notice here that it's just automatically taken from you. Not quite as fast as just getting a, uh, a PC empath, of course, but just something that you can do if maybe one isn't around or, uh, I don't know, you just don't want to be social. So now that, we, uh, now that we've used the empath here, we'll go ahead and back, we'll go ahead and head back over to the metal repair shop to get our metal items. And here we are. So now we should just be able to take out our ticket. And I think the proper amount of time has passed. So when you have your ticket, you just give ticket to the ghoul. He hands you your, your large sack. And we'll just go ahead and grab our items here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get ring glow. Always make sure that you didn't leave anything behind. And throw away your trash in the waste buckets so we can keep the lands clean. Other than that, that is just a real quick tutorial about uh, some of the maintenance that you might have to do. Oh, actually, before we leave, we'll do one more piece of maintenance that I just thought about. If you have a instrument, like I happen to have right here, um, sometimes, especially right now since it's winter and there's snowstorms and everything else, you might have moisture and dirt build up on your instrument. And for that, what you're going to need is a cloth. You can get a rag as well from certain stores. I just decided to buy a cloth. Um, to ensure that your item is dry, we'll go ahead and wipe my zill with my cloth. And it's not in need of any drying, so that's good. And now to clean it, it's just clean my zill with my cloth. And it's not in need of any cleaning. So if it was, you would get a slight round time. And if your cloth became soaked with water, you would just wring my cloth. And it says here you wring a dry canvas cloth uh, and then shake it out again. So if there's a bunch of water, it all splash on the ground and you would be ready to go. Always keep your instruments in good repair, otherwise they'll become damaged and it will affect your, your playing and your performance and you'll, your experience will not flow quite as normally. So anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you back for more in the future.